Well, good Sunday evening, everyone. Hey, have you heard about this? Yeah, this is a special nighttime treat that we're going to be having coming up over the next couple of nights. It's called the Great Conjunction. Now, you may have heard of this as the famous Christmas star that may be showing up in the sky. So what exactly is this? What are we talking about here? Well, basically, as you know, of course, the Earth and the Sun, everything kind of rotates around the Earth and the Sun in our orbit. And so think about being on a racetrack there, and you're going to have a couple of planets. You're going to have Saturn, and you're going to have Jupiter that are going to be racing around Earth and the Sun and of course they do this all the time. But what really is happening here that's going to be interesting this year is for the first time in about 400 years, they're going to line up in which a way that we're going to be able to see them. And if you look closely, they'll look like they're almost one planet or one star. And so they'll appear fairly bright. And that will be occurring over the next several nights. So with the Great Conjunction, it will be visible for the next few evenings across the area. Again, this is the closest encounter for Jupiter and Saturn over the past 400 years. And it's the first time that it will be aligned at nighttime so that we can really clearly see it in over 800 years. Now this again means that the planets will appear as a single star, star and it will look fairly bright in the sky. So it is something to check out there and here's what you need to know. The best viewing for this will actually be Monday evening. That's when everything really aligns and that happens to work out with our weather because tonight we have clouds out there so it'll be a little hard to see it this evening but tomorrow night will be the alignment period and it will looks like the weather will cooperate for that. So go out and find a spot like a field or a park and you'll be able to see it with an unobstructed view there. Look towards the southwestern sky about one hour after sunset and that's when you'll be able to see that there again and you'll be able to see it with an unaided eye. So you don't need a telescope or binoculars, but if you do have that and you view it, you may actually be able to see the four moons that orbit around Jupiter as well. So a nice little treat there. Again, that will be occurring as we get into uh, the next couple of nights here, but the peak will be tomorrow night and you'll see that in the southwestern sky. All right, temperatures out there in the 40s, the lower 50s, so another cool evening underway. We'll head down into the 30s tonight. Watch out for a little fog with increasing clouds. Your Monday, sunshine, breezy, but mild temperatures as we warm into the 50s. We're still tracking a mild start to the work week, but we're also still tracking that big storm system that's going to tap into some frigid air just in time for Christmas Day. And watch these temperatures. It's going to feel like it's in the 50s to near 60 on Christmas Eve. It'll feel like it's in the teens as we get towards your Friday. So yeah, Christmas Day looking very cold out there. Here's your four day plus. Again, we're in the 50s, then the 30s by Christmas Day for a high. That's in the upstate. You'll be into below freezing in the mountains and maybe a few snowflakes as well.